one of the best AI art generators that you can use. Let's get to it. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So AI art generators are now a thing and they allow you to create beautiful, creative, fantastic looking images that are sometimes borderline creepy simply by inputting text and setting a few different parameters. Now you have a lot of different options with these AI art generators. Some are fast, some are slow, some are free, some are paid, some are really good, some are really bad. And in this video, I wanna show you your best options for generating AI art. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Number one is Jasper AI. So Jasper AI is a content writing system that uses AI to create blog posts, Amazon product descriptions, YouTube video descriptions, intro, outro paragraphs, really quick and easy. And they recently launched a brand new feature called Jasper AI Art. So the AI art generator, you can sign up to Jasper and try it for free. Once you have an account, you'll notice over here in the left-hand sidebar, something that says art, you can click over here. Now, if you're paying for Jasper, this will be an extra $20 on top of your account. But the way it's set up over here is that you can get describe what you want to create using a text prompt. You can also set different properties like the mood, medium, inspiration style, keywords, and language. So if I navigate over here, describe what you want to create. We'll type in Justin Bieber and see what it creates. Let's go ahead and create our, our Justin Bieber riding a unicorn. And there we go. So now we have a bunch of pictures of Justin Bieber riding a unicorn. So we can download the image right over here and we can have an upscaled version of the image if we want. So natively it gives you 512 by 512, but you can also have 2048 by 2048. And then again, you can set the moods over here. So like calm, exciting, fun, etc. If you're not really liking how these images are processed, but you notice how quick and easy it is. This is something I really like about Jasper compared to a lot of the other options on the list. It's just fast and it works. You can download and you get big images. Now they also have this new feature over here, upload an image to start with. And so you can edit and adjust the image of your own that you upload and set the mood medium. So, so as a quick example, I uploaded this image I have of myself. I put in a quick little description, selfie image, mood, exciting style, realism, and it generated a bunch of images. Some of them are a little bit kind of creepy. That's kind of how Jasper art uh, still produces pictures of humans when you're making it something realistic. I find the best success with Jasper AI art for things that are a little bit more cartoonish or abstract, uh, etc. comes out much more effective. So as a quick example of realism, surrealism, cartoonish, what I'm talking about, I typed in astronaut riding a unicorn through space, I have this style set to realism, and it ended up generating this image right here, which is pretty nice. Then I can go ahead and download this uh, and save it to my desktop. Anyways, that's number one, Jasper AI Arts. Number two is midjourney.com. So midjourney is a research lab that's creating an AI art generator. Now you can join the beta or sign in. And to be honest, it's a little bit technical to use if you're not familiar with a Discord server. So if you know what Discord is, this is very intuitive. If you've never used Discord, you're gonna be like, what's going on? So let me just quickly walk you through the process. So navigate to midjourney.com and then you wanna join the beta. Next, it'll pop up saying you've been invited to join over here into the Discord server for Mid Journey. So you will need a Discord account and that Discord account will need to be verified. So go ahead and do that first. So I already have a Discord account, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept the invites. And next, Discord is going to open up and this is discord.com and this is showing all the different channels I'm associated with. Next, we have over here, Mid Journey. So let's click on Mid Journey. Okay, so this is the Discord server for Mid Journey. And you can see all these different images that people have been generating. So how do you generate images with this software? So first off, navigate over here to one of the newbie rooms. We'll open up 180. Next, it's going to pop up over here with different images that people have created. So David is my name is my handle within Discord. So over here, this is what I've created. So I <laughs> just typed in uh, Japanese mountains with purple sky and clouds, etc., and it gets to work. And so right down here is where you type in what you want to generate. So messages forward slash imagine we'll type in and then type in the prompt that you want to create and enter and then the bots will get to work generating 
the image as required. Anyways, it's very easy to use once you have Discord set up. But anyways, that's number two, a mid journey. Number three is Lenza AI. So Lenza AI is actually just a basic photo and video editor, but what made them really stand out is that they launched something called Magic Avatars. So within your Wenza photo editing app, you can sign up to Magic Avatars and then upload 10 to 20 selfies and then it will automatically generate you an avatar based on what you upload. You should, so you should be uploading selfies that are fairly close to your face, maybe your head's tilted, a little bit of a different angle. Don't upload monotonous pictures. Don't upload group photos or you holding a dog or something. Just a straightforward selfie and it'll generate an image for you that you can then download. So if you've been curious, like how are people generating these images? It's because they're using Lenza AI. So anyways, that's number three, Lenza AI photo and video editor. Number four is Doll E2 from OpenAI. So Doll E2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. To get started is very easy. All you have to do is click on the sign up button and then verify your email address as well as your phone number. It's just part of the process. Once logged in, this is your dashboard over here. Now you can upload an image to edits or you can click over here to surprise me and have it auto generate a prompt or you can type in a prompt of your choosing. So if I click over here, surprise me, we have an astronaut playing basketball with cats in space, digital arts, so that's the style. Let's go ahead and click on generate. Okay, great. So we have a bunch of different images that we can click on and download to our desktop. So let's take a look at this one. Yep, very interesting. Now, the way it works when you sign up to Doll E is that you get 50 credits upon signing up, and then each month you get a refresh of 15 credits. And so a credit is when you type in and click on it generates, okay, so that uses one credit. So if you navigate over to your account section, you can buy additional credits. So uh, one is $15 and then you get 115 credits. If we make this two, then it's $30, 230 credits, so on and so forth. Anyways, that's number four, Doll E2 from OpenAI. Number five is Hugging Face. So Hugging Face slash Spaces slash Stability AI slash Stable Diffusion has an AI image generator. So you can enter your text prompt here and then click on generate image, or you can navigate down here for a wide variety of prompts that you can play around with. So we'll click on this one, a Pikachu, fine dining with the Eiffel Tower, low quality, we'll just keep that. Let's go ahead and click on generate. And there we go. So now we have a low quality picture of a Pikachu fine dining with a view of the Eiffel Tower. It took about 25 seconds for this to generate. So you can click on the image here and you can right click and then you can save the image to your desktop. So let's change this from low quality to high quality. And there we go. So this took about 20 seconds to generate this image right here. It looks like Pikachu is dinner. Not exactly <laughs> what I was expecting, uh, but there you go. So if you're looking for a free AI art generator, stable diffusion from Hugging Face is the way to go. So anyways, it's number five, Hugging Face. Number six is Dream by Wombo. So Dream by Wombo is free to use and it works the same way as other AI art generators where you have a text prompt and then you can generate a wide variety of images. It does lock three additional images uh, that you can pay to upgrade to get access to. So $89.99 per year or $9.99 a month. You get exclusive Discord roles, premium styles, Wamba, save as a video, variations, multiple outputs. Anyways, let's type in a text prompt right here. I'm gonna type in fire and water tornado. There we go. And we'll click on the art style as we'll say splatter or diorama. There we go. Let's click on create. And there we go. So let's click on to expand this. So this is fire and water tornado. It's not particularly accurate, but it is a cool artistic looking image. Uh, and it would be a much better if this image was this section right here was connected to this section right there. Again, ARR generators tend to do this with like hands and individuals kind of makes it a little bit weird looking. Uh, but this is very creative and interesting. And, and again, to get access to the multiple styles, 
you have to upgrade your account. You can also input an image that it can reference itself. So you can kind of train the AI what you're kind of expecting. And you can also remix your NFTs, which is also optional by connecting your wallet. Anyways, this is number six, Dream by Wumbo. Number seven is Avatar AI. So Avatar AI was created by Peter Levels, who is very famous for creating Nomad List and Remote OK. So he runs a multi-million dollar business. And one of his newest projects is this Avatar AI website. So you can create photo realistic AI avatars. You can give it as a gift to someone special. There's over 112 styles within the platform. You just upload an image and then it generates those images into a wide variety of styles. Everything from New Year's Eve, video games, superhero, watercolor, painting, fashion model, passport, whatever you need. So to get started is very simple. You just click on create your own avatar AI now and it will navigate you to the checkout page and so the price of avatar ai does depend on where you live so i'm currently recording this from thailand and i lucked out because thailand has a special price that's way cheaper than you're going to get in other countries but anyways you pay to sign up and that is it it's really that simple and then create your account and then upload your images anyways that's number seven avatar ai Number eight is Deep Dream Generator. So Deep Dream Generator is another freemium AI tool to create images with. When you sign up and create your free account, you get access to text to dream, which is just a text prompt, as well as a couple different parameters to help you generate images. You also have access to Deep Style and Deep Dream. Deep Style is a little bit more computatively intense than text to dream, and Deep Dream allows you to create psychedelic and abstract art. So once you sign up and create your account, you're going to be looking at your dashboard. So a couple things going on here. So let me click over here for the energy level. You get 15 energy points and it's refresh at three an hour. And that's what you get with a free account. So let me click over here for more info. You have subscriber, newbie member, dreamer, and deep dreamer. If you do become a paid subscriber, you get up to 750 energy points. And energy points are used to compute images at different sizes, resolution, etc. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on generate. Now we have the text prompt right here. You can also add in a base image that it can learn from. You have the AI model, aspect ratio, quality. And when you choose these different items right there, it does change how many energy points you're going to be using. So if I click over here, we'll just say a cup of hot coffee in the mountains. Let's see what it comes up with this. We'll navigate down here, click on generate. Okay, so this is what it came up with. It took about a minute for it to compute this. So we have a cup of coffee, mountains, etc. So again, a hot cup of coffee in the mountains, and <laughs> here you go. Now you can right click and you can save the image to your desktop. And then you can just navigate back over here to generate to create a new image. Evolve allows you to uh, navigate back and adjust different settings and regenerate. Keeps all the settings. Uh, and then just creates a brand new image off what you typed in. Anyways, that's number eight, Deep Dream Generator. And the last and number nine is Artbreeder.com. So Artbreeder allows you to upload your own images to edit, or you can edit and adjust already created images. So you can search through tags and categories for inspiration. So let's go ahead and open up this image right here. And let me click on Remix. Okay, so now we have a few different options. So it works by way of these little dots and you just drag and uh, drop it into place. It's a scroll option, so I'll just show you. So we have blue eyes, so we can have it be a little bit blue right there, or I can navigate it all the way up to the end and make it a little bit more blue and just edit and adjust the image as you like. You can also click over here for the plus sign, navigate to Splicer Classic, and then upload your own images. And so I went ahead and uploaded a few different images which are currently processing, which is why they look so strange. Uh, so it's a mix and match of different animals. So right now, this is what it's currently editing and adjusting. These images are based off a cat, a dog, and a bear. So it's kind of combining everything into like one unique 
uh, image, etc. If that makes any sense. And you also have access to the collage over here. So the collage allows you to drag and drop images into place. And then you can add in a text prompt and then click on render to generate a new image. Anyways, that's number nine, artbreeder.com. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on the best AI art generators. Overall, I'm a big fan of the Jasper AI platform. Not only do I use it as an AI writing assistant, I really find the image functionality that's now built into it to be pretty good. Anyways, my name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.